so power law distributions or in a another in another language it's called the pareto distributions pareto distribution so both the same kind of distributions so let's see what is actual power law distribution so the power law distributions are still that actually so our in our life we have spent the 80 percent of the time to work the 20 percent of the job and we've spent the 20 percent of the time to do the 80 percent of the job okay so that is the that's the actually curve tailing just see the yellow portions of the cut so the yellow portions of the curve tailing us that we have doing so this is the simple uh, this is the simple uh, the 20 persons of that whole area suppose if you just take these things as a observations of the random variable if you just take it's the observations if you just take it there and observations just zoom this thing i think there will be observations then in that observations we will see on that pictures that so on 20 persons it is the simple 20 persons of our observations and the rest of the things are the 80 persons of our observations okay the 20 persons the uh, on that 20 on that whole observations only 20 persons observations are are, are carries the uh, 80 persons of the marsh means this area this green area are actually 80 is taken the 80 persons of the marsh if you just consider that uh, uh, these things in in discrete way so these things will be in mass format but if you take these things as a continuous way these things will be in a, in density format okay so these things are actually carries the 80 persons 80 persons density or you can call it as a mass these things okay and uh, these the, the the axis these axes are the simple probability density function pdf axis okay and the rest of the 80 percent observations of our random variables it's take the uh, 20 persons of the it carries the 20 persons mass okay it carries that see this air uh, that orange orange line these things are the 20 persons this the, this the actually the Pareto distributions are scholars means the, for these reasons this call in another language are called the 80 20 rule is this these distributions are called. means uh, these are examples of a power law that graph demonstrate the ranking of the popularities okay these are one examples that i picked these pictures i have taken from the wikipedia articles that's that that's showing uh, that's you have shown here okay so that's this distribution actually tell that the to the right to the right is the long tail means in the right directions in the positive directions this takes the, the uh, long tail and the left directions and the left are the few that dominates okay also know these things as a 80 20 rule okay this is the simple power law distribution power law distribution these things like okay now let's see this thing in 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 another uh, just let's see this thing in 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 another format means it's called another language it's called the Pareto distributions of type one and there have also another type of Pareto distributions and just i am not going to discuss this type just i am going to oh, that just simple i am going to the the idea what is actually Pareto distributions and in which situations in machine learning these distributions are useful that's the main motto of this lecture I'm going to give you some idea of, the, of, of it. Okay, now let's see what is actually the Pareto distributions are telling, uh, are speaking about. So the P, uh, this is the sample. If you just take, consider this curve, this is the sample. The axis is example the PDF axis probability density functions. Just I am taking here the decontinuous functions for better understanding. So the same things are also applicable on the discrete situations. Okay, just take these things for simplicity. Just take these things as a continuous format. Okay. So this is the probability density functions of a Pareto distributions and this one kind of Pareto distributions. So the Pareto in this distributions, it is saying that actually it is saying that uh, the, the Pareto distributions, uh, the Pareto distributions of type 1 probability density functions for various alpha means here alpha is actually here alpha is actually the, uh, the, the uh, if you just remember the Gaussian curve, Gaussian distribution, if you just remember the 
Gaussian distributions, we have seen they have two, uh, two parameters. One is mean mu and one is sigma. Here actually they also here also we have here the two parameters. One is xm, one is xm and another one is sigma. Another one is sigma. Yeah, sorry alpha here instead of taking the uh, sigma here i have taken here alpha so the the x one is equals to one are telling that the point of where the 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 distributions has more picard just see these pictures they are red line red red line blue line green line and the red line means here at just only one point the distributions take the most value means it's it's the most picard value are are considered at that point where the excess value are carries this the, this value is simple the xm value this value is simple the xm value and the alpha that uh, that i have taken here as we increase the value of the alpha the length of the tail are going to shorter just see these things yeah uh, first i am going to take the alpha is equals to one just see the green line first just see the green line when we have taken the alpha is equals to one then the curve are look like that type just like that type okay and if you take the alpha is equals to 2 alpha is equals to the, then this is the uh, uh, and this is the like that like this type this is just you, you see these things when you decrease the value of the alpha the car the curve car of the distributions will be more flatter means the tail are increased means mm, just see this thing and uh, just red line are showing here this one and the alpha when you take in the alpha is equals to 3 then the line are looking like that type of this type of distributions they are happening and he, when you have taken the alpha is equals to 0 means simple here just see the uh, blue just see the uh, alpha is equals to black line here black line here when you take an alpha is equals to oh, infinity then the it is more picard means it one kind of delta functions Okay, delta functions means what? It's it's delta functions means if you just taken this consider as a delta functions, so at certain time it's taken the value at infinity. At certain time it takes value and elsewhere it is zero. Means just see these things. It is takes the zero and at certain time means here xm at certain time it takes the value and after just xm it takes the zero value. Okay, this is the functions that are uh, that are taken that are considering when taken alpha is equals to infinity this is the main thing this is the probability density functions of the pro of the of the uh, of the predator distributions okay i think you have understand the con the the concept of the uh, the delta functions if you are a mathematics students or physics students then you can easily understand what is actually this of uh, delta functions if just in simple city just if you write that functions delta functions it would be like this kind of functions so the functions are look like this type so the delta function the delta functions will be look like this type okay it takes some value suppose let's take it takes some value oh, oh, delta delta when x it is the value functions value the delta of x its value equals to some value xm and it's take the value zero elsewhere elsewhere this is the simple the, uh, constructions of the delta function these these things will be look like this is the simple definitions of the delta functions but the, uh, its definitions are look like this when you take on the alpha is equals to oh, lambda we'll see these things but i'm not going to the details of the mathematical formulation just i'm going to the uh, a hint of that how these things are actually applicable on that real world that's the main motto of this lecture okay now, now going to the Wikipedia, that's the pictures I have shown here. Just I'm taking these pictures from the Wikipedia. Now going to the Wikipedia page directly, I think then it will be better for us to for better understanding. So, okay. So let's go the Wikipedia page. So it's the simple Wikipedia page. I'm com coming to just Wikipedia page. Just if you see it here from here. So in this page that, uh, that if you have shown, just if you type, type it on Wikipedia, it's distributions then you will come on this page 
So this is the simple and such kind of applications that address the pay to distributions are follows. So they are have various huge, huge applications on the in machine learning as well as in internet company everywhere in, in a natural scenario, we'll see this thing kind of distributions. Okay, let's see these things one by one. So just first application this the he the size of the human settlements, the first applications. First kind of very important implements, just size of the human settlements, suppose in PE, in city, in village, eh, like that, thing like, like that kind of situations. In first, uh, the humans' uh, the behavior is like, like that. In first, the, 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 the huge amount of populations are coming to a city. After that, it will decrease. Such kind of distributions are look like that. Okay? The, the uh, file size of the distributions, the file size distributions of an internet traffic that's also follow this kind of distribution as well the Bose uh, Einstein condensation formula in advanced physics. This is the advanced physics applications. I'm not going to there. Just uh, this kind of uh, in this field also these distributions are followed. In the hard drives erode rates though in this also in this uh, in this con in these situations also these distribution are follows and there are various 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 of the distribution various various applications just if you if you have a time i suggest you please go to the just read this article then i think it will be better for you just re just read this article step by step they are they have easily elaborated every, everything step by step okay just see these things just i'm taking the picture from here okay this is the the uh, first period to distributions and the the see these things just i'm um, in just just uh, first beginning of these lectures i have discussed these things mm, okay this is the applications this is some applications now uh, the questions is how you will know actually this is a perito distributions uh, or not suppose go to the plotting plotting of the perito distributions i think on this page it will have Search it on if lock log log plot okay. Okay, just see the log log plot. I think. Okay. Okay. Don't be confused. Just I am uh, in hand. I am going to elaborate these things. So don't be confused about that. In hand, I am going to elaborate. Okay. So log log plot. What is actually how we know what is the applications of that log log plot? And, and how you will know suppose we have a data set suppose let's take we have a data sets uh, data sets x for so for some observations we have some data sets x okay and uh, uh, corresponding that is some data sets we have some observations x1 x2 dot 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 up to xn we have some observations and corresponding is observations we have some output of that observations output suppose let's take its output is y1 y2 y3 y n so how we know this is the log normal distributed how we will know these things log normal how these things we will know so you have a simple technique and the log normal distributions so the technique is like that so the, suppose or oh, suppose it is the x in random variable axis and it is its probability density functions means y it acts example if these things are, uh, are, are, are follows the log normal distributions, so the plot will be like, like that. Plot, plot will be look like that. Okay, this kind of plot we have seen. But the thing is that the, the, there have another way to, to justify these things in an easy way. So first that I have to consider just to take the log of x. The first thing that we have to do. Log of x and corresponding the log of x you will find its value means we will find its log of small x1 if we'll find its log easily find its log x2 up to like log xn we can easily calculate this value similarly for y also we have to calculate log of y log of y1 
log of y2 up to log of yn okay that's thing that we have to doing the job okay so after that we have to plot that data this data means in x axis we have to use the log of x and in y axis we will use log of y so if you see this plot like will uh, will lies on a straight line look like that if it see these things are look like that type of plot it, it will get if i get this kind of plot or this side of this kind of plot or maybe it will this kind of plot means this is a simple straight line if you got some simple straight line then you can easily easily say that our x and y are follows log normal distribution or follow the log normal distribution this is the simple technique and uh, already we have known the qq plot so also here a uh, qq plot also applicable on these situations means uh, just uh, just uh, similarly in qq plot or uh, uh, already we have seen in that to plot a qq plot to use a click qq plot qq plot we have the two axis in the uh, x axis we have used the theoretical theoretical samples theoretical values theoretical sample value sampled value and here we will take on the observed series sample value observed sample values observed sample values means uh, sample value means i am going to tell him the quantiles okay just in theoretical samples i have taken the random sample from some theoretical if you just uh, uh, draw the qq plot means here instead of uh, here the in theoretical samples we have to use the log normal distributions we have to use the log normal distribution log normal distributions and in observed sample values in observed sample value we have to take on our the observed value means such like that this kind of x values observed sample values is this two things are uh, are lying on a straight line like that then we can sleep we can we can call that this x is our uh, follows the log normal distribution this is the another way to find its distribution it follows the log normal or not this is another way uh, and uh, and the main the main 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 things that uh, uh, what kind of distributions it's and uh, what kind of probability density functions is look like to plot these things i think it will be better if we go to the uh, the wikipedia page okay so the the probability uh, so the in predator distributions they are have two parameters as uh, 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 in gaussian distributions already we have seen in gaussian if you just remember the gaussian distributions already we have seen they are have two parameters one is mean and one is mean and one is standard deviations this two parameters similarly also here are uh, in period distribution there have two parameters xm and the alpha xm actually scale are calling about the it is greater than zero and it is it's called the scale means it's the sample it's look like sigma mu mean and this alpha are called the safe of that uh, period distributions are uh, it is the same type of sigma in, in gaussian distribution if you just not actually sigma at actually just compare to the distributions that the the job that in mu the job that doing in gaussian distribution mu the same jobs are here doing the xm and the the, the job that the uh, sigma are doing in in gaussian distributions the job the same jobs are doing here in alpha okay this is the same kind of thing in these distributions so here the support vectors are lie on that regions because we have seen these things this plot are look like this this kind of plot it's infinity plus infinity and the graph graph start from the here this is the xm value where the values are taken the picard value okay so the support vectors are, are lies on this range and the pdf function is i am not going to discuss how these functions are coming if you just interested just go to this article then i just go to this article then you will easily find that kind of things okay i'm not going to discuss these things here okay if you're interested then you can easily just if you have time just read here okay 
a man now this is the sample the probability density functions means alpha this alpha value x m alpha and this one and its cumulative distance functions is also here this is the mean this is the median mode variance everything's are here and it is its skewness how it find its skewness okay everything's are, are, are elaborated here what is its kudosis everything's are here so this is the sample that this is the sample thing that we have to use in uh, 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 that we have to use this kind of distributions in such kind of scenarios okay i think you have got some ideas in which situations this kind of in which situations these distributions are useful when we are going to discuss the case study step by step then we will see these things uh, who, uh, in which situations these are really applicable i think you got the idea of the pareto distributions in which situations it is applicable okay so uh, i suggest you after seeing this video please read once at least once please read this article then i think it will be better for you for better understanding